in the middle, clever girl. Hold it up like this. No crashing. Come on. Round the go. Drive your car. <laughs> well, we've got Paige, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, yes, it's Lisa <laughs> with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Hi, oh, Granny Murray. I'm Lisa. <laughs> oh, careful you don't get run over. <laughs> We've been playing at cars. I think we're all parked up now, though. Oh, do not talk to me about parking. I got a parking ticket the other day when I was doing the shopping. Poor you. I day to do everything. Sometimes there's more space than you think. <laughs> Will you look at... Oh. <laughs> Oh, Claude, you look great. Oh, yes, very efficient. Well Mommy. done, Poppets. Oh, not another parking ticket. Oh, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> you have a great day. Bye, See Mommy. you later. Oh, dear dog. Now remember, sometimes there's more space than you think. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. You keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city Which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit and which way's a miss? Hey! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello. 
Hello, hat. Hello, flower. Hello, cat. Hello, green man. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Phew. Now what? Of course, I have to get dressed for work. <laughs> Tina. Oh, it's great to see you, but where are you off to? <laughs> well, I'm just on my way to deliver this fruit and veg to the station, and I thought I'd pop in with a joke for you and Raymond. Oh, go on then. I say, I say, I say. Uh, what do you say? What's yellow and white and travels at 120 miles per hour? I don't know. <laughs> a train driver's egg sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing, Tina? I haven't seen you in the market for whew, ages. It's just I've been so busy. But Granny Murray has given me some extra time at the end of the day today to do my shopping. So I'll come to you for my fruit and veg then. Oh, great. Oh, you do realise that today's my busiest day of the whole week. Oh, dear. Yeah, so you'll have to get there earliest and, well, make sure that I haven't run out of all the things you want. Well, that might be difficult. Um, oh, could you maybe put some things aside for me, just to make sure I get them? <laughs> for you, Tina, anything. What would you like? Uh, I need some potatoes and some oranges. Some potatoes, oranges. Tomatoes. And tomatoes. Right, OK, I'll see you later. Oh, ready, and some broccoli, please. Thanks. That's Lisa's favourite. I wonder what my lovely Lisa's doing now. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. That's us, my darlings, we're nearly at the park. <laughs> that's the best place to practice our parking and driving. Turn left. On we go. Oh, Lisa, you'll be driving about just like your mum. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. Hello, Tina. Hi, Dr Juno. How are you? Are you busy? No. Well, actually, yes. I'm just going shopping and then to the market. Well, can I interest you on a ride? No, thank you. I'll just stick to my bike. It's great for shopping because you never have any parking problems. <laughs> Would you like me to do some shopping for you? I know you're really busy. Oh, no thanks. Granny Murray has given me some extra time at the end of the day. So I'll go then. Well, if you're sure. Never surer. <laughs> See you then, Tina. Happy shopping. Right. Time to get down to some hard work. City roads are waiting Oh, the traffic lights are changing Police cars are cruising The trucks keep on trapping And the city roads are waiting for me To take a drive in my pretty pink taxi, taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi Get into the back and just relax for the She's going for a drive. Look in the mirror, shift that gear. Pull out to the busy lane, my pretty big taxi takes the strain. Oh, the radio calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi, oh. In a city, in my pretty pink taxi, yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Ride, 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 hey, where you wanna go? Cause I need to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. People wave me down and relax for the ride. Time for some lunch. <laughs> my tummy's been rumbling so loudly that some of my passengers thought it was something wrong with my taxi. <laughs> oh, Tina! Mm. There you are. 
Oh, sorry to interrupt your lunch. I'm just going shopping. Mm. <laughs> sorry, my mouth was full. Oh, so you want to go in a taxi? Oh, no, 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 thanks. I'm fine as I am. No problem with parking or taxis when you're on your two feet. Oh, OK. And I can fit all the shopping that I need for today into my backpack. Great. I just want if you wanted anything while I was down the shops. Uh, I don't think so, thank you. I've got a whole week shopping to do. I don't think that'll fit in your backpack. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> All right then, well, I'll see you later. Oh, thanks anyway. I'm going to go and do my shopping later, just before I pick Lisa up. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I wonder if you're at the park yet, Lise. <laughs> It won't be long before I can pick up Lisa. Oh my goodness! It really is nearly time to pick Lisa up. And Granny Murray gave me this extra time especially to do my shopping. I'd better get down to the shops now, before it's too late. This is terrible. I've been driving round and round trying to find a parking space so that I can leave my taxi and go and do my shopping. I've got to pick Lisa up soon and I can't find any place to park. Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I dropped Lisa off at Granny Murray's. The children were busy playing cars and practicing their parking. Granny Murray told me Lisa could stay a little later so that I could do my shopping after work. Lisa gave me a parking ticket from Claude the traffic warden. At 10 o'clock, Rudy came to the garage and told me a joke. It's Rudy's busiest day today, so he agreed to save my shopping for me until I could get to the market. I told him what I wanted. At 11 o'clock, Dr Juno came to see me. She was going shopping on her bicycle, so she knew she wouldn't have any parking problems. At 12 o'clock, I was eating my lunch when Bobby popped in. Well, she was walking to the shops, so she wouldn't have any difficulty with traffic or parking. At five o'clock, I realised that it was time to do my shopping before I had to go and collect Lisa from Granny Murray. But I've been driving around and around, and I can't find a parking space anywhere. Remember, sometimes there's more space than you think. <laughs> sometimes there's more space than you think. Well, if there is sometimes more space than I think, I'd better keep looking for a parking space. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to start it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Have a good day. Hi, Rudy. Oh, Tina. Thank goodness I was beginning to think you weren't going to make it. Oh, so was I. I had difficulty parking. Did you manage to keep all my shopping for me? Of course. Why, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. We have potatoes, oranges, tomatoes, beans, and here's your broccoli. And here's a £10 note. Uh, well, Thanks, Rudy. Thank you, madam, and here's your change. Thank you. Mm. 
Lisa's favorite. Oh, could I have um, two apples, please? Thank you. And maybe four carrots. You see, my friend Lisa's coming for a tea, so I'll need lots of carrots. And uh, could we have corn in the cob, please? How many? Just the one. And a wee orange, because that's always nice to have some fruit, isn't it? After your tea. And I wonder what else my friend Lisa would like. A tomato. Oh, thank hey, you Mary. so much. Just the one. Now, how much will that be? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? My goodness. I'm glad Rudy's not so expensive. <laughs> Look who's here, Lisa. Oh, hi, Lise. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. Oh, did you have a good day with Granny Murray? You betcha. Will you say <laughs> thanks to Granny Murray? Come Thank here, you, Granny Murray. Murray. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes there's more space than you think. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> Good girl. Bye bye, my darling. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. What was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a traffic warden because the children were playing cars and practicing their parking. Tina told me she had got a parking ticket the last time she went shopping. Lisa gave her mum another parking ticket from Claude the traffic warden. Then I took the children with all their cars and bikes to the park. While Tina was driving her taxi, the children had great fun practising manoeuvring their cars and bikes in and out of spaces and parking. Oh, and I really enjoyed directing them. Later, Lisa stayed on late with me so her mum could do her shopping. Lisa and I played markets. Tina managed to find a parking space to go to the market. She remembered what I said about there sometimes being more space than you think. Delicious. A tasty end to a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs> Want your friends to come and play, but can't get hold of them? Hello, Jimmy. Need some ideas from an expert right away. Mm, Nina, new ones. Where could they be? Jimmy. Well, now you can find your friends on CBeebies iPlayer. Just go online, click on CBeebies iPlayer, and pick your favourite. Jimmy. It's nothing but brilliant CBeebies programmes and they'll be there for seven whole days so there's no need to miss them. <laughs> CBeebies, putting the play into iPlayer. Hello, it's me, Andy, and have a look at my Christmassy Balamori bus. Well, one of our friends from Balamori has left a pot of paint in the back of the bus. I need to drop it off to them, but who do you think it is? Do you think it could be Miss Hooley? No.